Russian troops say they're starving, sent to slaughter. New video. Here's a summary of the article. A new video shows Russian troops complaining that their commanders send them to slaughter and leave the wounded to rot rather than issue evacuation orders. The video, shared on X, formerly known as Twitter, by Anton Jaraschenko, advisor to Ukraine's Interior Ministry, shows a group of Russian soldiers sitting in cramped quarters and complaining about their commanders and their provisions. The Russian soldiers say that they have no documentary evidence that they are even at war. In the video, a soldier opens up his military document and shows that the third page, where his contract is supposed to be, is blank. Another soldier says, so we take out the wounded from under mortar fire and other shooting fights on personal transport. Personal transportation is fueled with our own money. That is, we either collect money from the brigade for gasoline and oil among other things, or we get money from our wives, as we have no money and our salaries do not come. So we're simply taking the last of the money from home, the soldier says. Ukraine said its troops were continuing to fend off Russian attacks. Imperial Russia lost about 1.8 million soldiers, or on average 1,100 men a day during World War I. Today it is losing approximately 900 soldiers every 24 hours and sometimes more. This post received a score of 12,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. A video, shared on X, shows Russian troops complaining that their commanders send them to slaughter and leave the wounded to rot rather than issue evacuation orders. The Russian soldiers state they have no evidence they are even at war and that they had to buy everything at their own expense before departing. Putin's cannon fodder. Clueless people discovering they are being thrown away by their own leader in a still called, special military operation. They're recruiting from minorities in rural areas in convicts neither have a clue what's going on, and are seen as undesirables anyway. It's depressing but literally no one in Russian leadership, or even a large part of their citizen population as evidenced by interviews, cares if they're taking heavy losses. Yes, the, soldiers, sent to Ukraine are either convicts, mercenaries, minorities or jailed Russians, the ones jailed for protesting the war last year. The Kremlin doesn't care, if anyone remotely dares to care. They get insta-eliminated by Putin's personal assassins, FSB aka KGB. If Putin has not killed the massacre will keep on going. Well, yes but, it's bigger and older than Putin. My ancestors left Russia in the late 1800s because they were to be made to stand, charge on the front lines. Behind them would be the ethnic Russians, and behind those, the aristocrats and nobles. Everyone catches a bullet so their, betters, do not have to. If their, slightly betters, do not make them, they will stand in place of those short for desertion. The ones above them will see to it, lest they stand themselves. That is the Russian way. I think, in general, Russians don't mind this group of people getting killed. So Putin gets to genocide people he doesn't like, steal shit from Ukrainians, flex his military strength, brag about his equipment exports, and grow his empire. He has failed in all of these except genociding people he doesn't like. This has led to him consolidating his power, killing anyone against him, and hoping he can end up with a draw somehow. No food, no cold weather gear, cold outside, running low on equipment. Sounds like fun there in the trench or turn on the commanders and go back to Zedland. I've been led to understand that there are plenty of rats to eat in the Russian trenches. And they are getting fat with all the trench meat that's been available lately. Trench meat. Brutal. With the ground being frozen, many are not getting buried. They weren't getting buried when the ground wasn't frozen. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.